we have here is a uh, rather large Takagi as they come. What, what was this, please? Well, it's large in BTU. It's 199,000 BTU. But dimensionally, it's only 24 inches by 16 inches, or 15 inches. Yes, it is. It will produce uh, four and a half gallons of water at 130 degrees with incoming temperature about this time of year, about 60 degrees. Four and a half gallons a minute, uh, that's a pretty hectic flow, really. It's that's about what uh, this tank over here will do about the same. Although we were uh, at the jail uh, last week, we were observing five gallons a minute at 180. All right. All right. <laughs> it was blistering. It was just blistering. Well, this will handle two showers simultaneously. In warm weather, maybe even three showers. Yeah. Water saving showers. Okay, so we've got stainless steel return and feed. And galvanized uh, air supply. Galvanized air supply. And the question is how we're going to hook up our tanks. Yeah. What we have is the domestic end, right? We have a cutoff valve. And over we come, and the cold water feed, right now, because the heat exchanger is not turned on, will have a cutoff right here. It's just a, a cap. So right now, it's coming in to the tankless hot water heater, where it works just fine without the solar. Now what we'll do when we finish this install is we'll take this line, hook it up to the heat exchanger, and then bring it back in right here through this line down below see so what will happen now when we're done is we'll turn this valve off this will be normally closed NC and then we'll have a cutoff valve here down there those will be normally open so that cold water feed will come through the heat exchanger and then the hot water will be the feed the cold feed to the on-demand however in the case of a problem or in case of an install and you want to keep running, this is the bypass and right now the bypass is open and the system can work without the solar feed. So this is a, an example of a bypass uh, and if I do say so myself, a fine looking bypass with some very nice oh, solder work. Thank you. thank you. Now this one is capable of four and a half gallons a minute at 113, 115. I believe that the flow rate of three quarter inch pipe is set pretty close to five gallons a minute. So that would be the maximum flow on this 